Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable custom thumbnails for your uploaded videos on YouTube. So let's go ahead and open up my web browser. I'm already logged into my YouTube account. So go ahead and log into your YouTube account and then click on this little icon up here. Make sure you click on my channel first. So you just make sure you're looking at your actual channel. So here I'm looking at my channel for DCP and I'm going to click on the icon again up here and this time I'm going to go to settings and when I click on settings a few different options will show up in here and I'm going to click on view additional features here and right here and when I click on that all of these options here will be um, available now depending on where you are on your YouTube channel depending on how many subscribers you've got uh, quite a different few different things will determine whether these get enabled or disabled so one of the common ones is to set up a custom url but there's a certain set of requirements to get that so i think you need like a thousand subscribers and a few other things to make sure your you know your channel has to be running for at least 30 days and so forth so this one comes a little bit later but longer videos you can do quite easily and whenever you click on these options to enable them so right now it's enabled and normally it will say disabled when you first log in here so when it says disabled simply click on it and then follow the on-screen instructions so uploading longer videos you just need to get yourself verified the ones that we're going to the one we're going to look at today is uh, the custom thumbnail so normally this will say disabled when you click enable it it's going to ask you for your mobile number and when you put your mobile phone number in there it's going to send you a code and you can input that code and then it will allow custom thumbnails to be uploaded to your videos so if i go to for example let's go back to um studio here and then click on videos here and inside videos you can see all the videos that have been uploading let's take an example like uh, this one here i'll click on it to edit it and when you've enabled custom thumbnails another option here will be enabled and in this little drop down here it says download so i can download that thumbnail that i've uploaded so if i want to use that on somewhere like um facebook for example i want to upload this thumbnail to facebook and a link to my youtube video or upload this to twitter or somewhere else i can simply upload it or i can download it by clicking uh, on the thumbnail this is one i've already uploaded i can click download drag and drop it to my desktop and then upload it somewhere else right but if i want to add a new one i can click on this option here and then click edit and i can select that same thumbnail and click open and then youtube will upload that and then that will become the thumbnail for my video so creating really good thumbnails is really important to get you know people looking at your video so i like to keep my thumbnails really simple so let's have a quick look at this one normally i just state what the software is because most people know what software is. you know most people that are using graphic design will understand what gimp 2.10 is i've got the gimp icon here light effects tutorials i keep the, the title very very simple and then i show like a before and an after and i use an arrow to point so this is like um, you know just visual messages so people click on these tutorials because it's kind of interesting trying to gain their interest right and a lot of the uh, thumbnails that i create so if i go back to let's go back one you'll see they're all kind of a similar sort of style so um you know they're all i don't want to, i would kind of suggest that you keep a similar sort of style for all your thumbnails try and keep them consistent you know you can do different styles as well not all of mine are the same but quite a lot of them will be quite similar in terms of their font styles and sizes and just different color schemes and just mix it up a little bit uh here's another example let's just take a look at this one so we'll click here and download it as well so you can see it and it's just the same as the previous one right gimp 2.10 a different color scheme crop image tutorial really simple title then here's the before and here's the after so that's kind of how i try and do my thumbnails to make the message very very simple and easy to understand so that's how you go about enabling custom thumbnails on youtube and i've given you kind of a couple of examples of how i create thumbnails i'm not saying they're perfect you need to go away and experiment and create your own, th own thumbnails and see what works best for your youtube channel these ones tend to work well for me because of the type of content i create so let's minimize this We'll delete this thumbnail that's the end of this tutorial if you check the youtube description i'll put a link in there um just with a bit more detail as to what uh, file formats you can use for youtube thumbnails and what are the best resolutions to use so normally you would upload them at 1280 by 720 resolution and use jpeg or png but i'll put a link in there in the youtube description giving you a bit more detail about creating custom thumbnails okay i hope you find this 
tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.